in today's Baby Alive video, we're going to watch a compilation of when I took apart some of my most popular Baby Alive dolls, and you can see what's inside of them. Hey Missy Moose! I'm here with my Baby Alive doll Rachel, and she is the Real Surprises Baby doll. And you know what? She's been needing a cleaning for a very long time. Look at that right in here. That's from the Baby Alive food that I've been feeding her. And every time I film with her, I can notice that it's there and it's been bugging me forever. And I'm so sorry that I haven't cleaned her earlier than this. So I'm going to clean out her mouth with some Lysol and then afterwards we're going to open her up and see if anything is stuck on the inside. But first let's do her mouth. Okay, so let's put that in there and we want to get all the creases and corners So we'll take a little bit of a pointy object But make sure not to scratch the mouth and let's just get every single corner in there Okay, let's have a look there <laughs> Look at all that. Well, that cleaned it up pretty good. There's a little bit up there in the corner, so let's try it one more time. Okay, let's get that out. And yeah, that looks really, really good. Look at all this stuff on the Lysol wipe. I think it's either green peas or pear. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember when I got her. I did get her on eBay and she was a really, really good deal and I just love her eyes and her skin tone is so beautiful. Whoever owned her before did cut her some bangs, so she had that going for her, but it still looks fine. So whoever owns a Baby Alive Real Surprises doll knows that they can get clogged up. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to open her up and we're going to have a look inside of her. So there's a bunch of screws that have to come undone, like the one that is here for the battery compartment. And then there's some on the outside of the doll. And then I think once the battery compartment is lifted, there's a bunch of screws in there. Remember to not use any tools without your parents' permission. It actually took me a while to find a screwdriver that is small enough to fit into those little holes with the screws. I want to know from you guys if you have any dolls that are really really hard to clean. If you do have some, put it down below in the comments and maybe I have that doll and maybe I'll give her a good cleaning. Okay, I think this is all done so we can open her up. Whoa, I did not expect her to look like this at all. She looks really, really clean on the inside. And this right there is the little tube where the food goes through. And you can see it's actually really, really clean. Because I fed her mostly just Baby Alive food. And I think as long as you just feed them the Baby Alive food and then chase it down with some water, that's a good way to keep that path clear. I think that when you start making your own food, I'm not criticizing that at all because it is fun to feed them whatever you want to feed them, but when you start making your own food, you're taking that risk of clogging that tube up because it can be too thick to pass through. Okay, well, I think it's time to put her back together. I don't have to clean anything on the inside. She looks just perfect. We're going to put Rachel all back together. Alright, I put Rachel all back together and look right here in her mouth. It's all clean. She's so adorable. Hey Missy Miss, I'm here with my Baby Alive Potty Dance doll. Who, by the way, I'm still looking for a name for her. So any suggestions, put them down below. I just bought her a few days ago from Walmart, as you guys remember, but even way before that, I got some messages from you guys saying that I should take her apart and see what's inside of her. And since I have her now, we can do that. So I'm just going to get her quickly undressed, and then I'll get the screwdriver. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, and five screws that I need to take out. And I'm using my very small flathead screwdriver, but you can probably use a very small Phillips screwdriver as well. And remember, you should probably let a parent do this. The screws inside of this doll actually come out super, super easy. And remember, when you have the screws, put them aside somewhere safe. Alright, here we go. I wonder if this will come off easy. 
kind of stuck here by her neck. Maybe just push the head back a little bit. Wiggle it. There we go. Oh, wow. Check this out. She has so many gadgets on the inside of her. That's crazy. I don't even know what most of these are. Well, there's a speaker. And as you can see, she's not like other dolls where the arms just fall off once you open them up. They're actually attached to some sort of mechanism because she does the potty dance and I mean something's got to make those legs move. But that's crazy. Look at all the stuff she's got in there. Yeah, but look at this right here. The legs are totally attached. And somewhere in here is the tube. Oh, right there. Here, I'll show you guys. Right behind here is the feeding tube. Yeah, so definitely don't feed her anything else but water. Maybe colored water is okay. But that's it. You don't want her to get clogged up at all because look how complicated this doll is. Well, that was fun to look at. I did not expect all of that inside of her, but let's close her up and put the screws back in. Okay, well that came together pretty easily. Let's put the screws in. Now, if you guys are wondering where I am, because this obviously doesn't look like my place, I'm visiting family today, and of course I always have to bring a doll along, but they are totally used to it. Alright, she's all put back together and I got her dressed again and now we should check if she's still working. And I always cross my fingers before this. Let's turn on her button. Hi! <laughs> Can you help me go potty? Yay, she's working still. Hey, Missy Miss. I'm here with my baby alive sweet tears doll, Jules. And she's the one that can cry. There's an opening for tears over here in the eye. It's really, really small. And then there's the same one on the other side. And today we are going to take her apart to see if she needs any cleaning. And we're going to see what's inside of her. So I'm just going to take off her dress. And you can see that over here in the front is the speaker and then the button to activate her. And then here on the back, you'll see a few screws right here in the shoulders and then one on the battery compartment over here. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to take the battery compartment apart first. Okay, so once I took the batteries out, there's more screws right there and right there. And I still have to take out the ones over here at the shoulders. And this time I'm going to use a very small Phillips screwdriver. Oh wow, look at all the wires and all the tubes. Okay, so right off the bat you can see that I did break a piece right over here. I feel bad. I will glue it. And then over here you can see a bunch of the tubes that go right down into this compartment. So that's where all the water goes when you feed her water. And I guess something must be pumping it right back up to her so she can cry when she wants to. But there is a lot of tubes that go right to her head. So they have that worked out really, really well. That is actually really high tech for a doll. And then the little button that we press that's on her chest is right here. And I guess it goes in right over here. And this wire is the wire for the speaker. I'm really, really glad that Jules is very, very clean on the inside so I don't have to clean anything because this is a really complicated doll. So we will put her back together. Now Baby Alive dolls are actually really easy to put back together. They don't have a lot of loose pieces, but when they do, I recommend that you take a picture beforehand before you take them apart. 
like this little button right here I think goes over here right there and then I can snap her back together We will put her back together and put some batteries into her and then you guys can see that she's still working. All right, let's turn her back on. Hey, Mommy. Hooks, please. Hey, Missy Moose. So today we're going to take apart my Baby Alive Interactive Soft Face doll from 2006. And you guys remember Fiona from previous videos that I have done. She's a wonderful doll and she can do so many things. And one of the things that I love doing is feeding her liquid food. But she has been clogged up lately. And today I was going to take her apart to see what's going on. So there's not a lot that we need to take her apart. But you definitely need a long Phillips screwdriver. And this doll is very tricky to take apart. So I will recommend that you let an adult do this. So first thing I'm going to do is take off the lid of the battery compartment. And once that lid is out, you have to use a Phillips screwdriver to get into these four screws. And this is where the tricky part starts. Once all those screws are out, you gotta use an Allen key and a little thin screwdriver just to kind of wiggle it apart and take off the top part of the body. And I know you guys are probably like, hey, why didn't you show that part? And it was because I needed both of my hands and it took me like 10 minutes to take it apart. And I think I might have broken like two snapping parts here at the top. You can see right there where the white snapping parts are that broke off into here and here because it just would not come out. So I'm going to have to glue that together later. But right here is where you can see she is clogged up because I used to make milk with water and a little bit of flour and I guess that hardened up. It's not good for her. So that is a no, no, but that is where a lot of the clogging is happening. And she keeps on telling me that she needs to go to the potty. And that is why, because her system is not cleared out. But I'm glad that nothing is broken in here. So I'm just going to dust this off a little bit in here. I'm going to take a little bit of a damp cloth and just get into the few cracks and everything just to clean it a little bit. And one thing I have learned about this doll is that toothpaste will actually clear out a lot of the dirt on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a little bit of toothpaste is on a toddler toothbrush so you got to be really really gentle I'm just going to lightly brush it on the inside of her throat there and I'm gonna chase it down with some water in a second I'm gonna use warm water because that will help hopefully loosen it up a little bit so this is warm water don't use too much of hot water because you don't want anything to burn on her you got to be really careful not to spill anything because she has a lot of mechanics on her and that looks like it's all going through and it seems to have cleared that up actually a fair bit. Yeah, the tube itself is really old so it does have a little bit of marks on it but all the stuff that was clogged inside is coming out so that's great. Let me just get that last little bit of water out. There we go. And I think we can put her back together again. I always recommend taking a picture of the doll before you completely take her apart so you can remember what she looked like put together. I always get a little bit worried after I take her apart that she's not going to work. So cross your fingers. Okay, when you put her back together, the struggle is that her arms don't come back out of her socket again because they come out so easily. So if you have any other dolls that you want me to take apart and have a look at cleaning, put it down below in the comments. Alright, almost done. Just the battery compartment. Alright, let's make sure that she works. Let's see, cross your fingers. <laughs> Hi 
Mom. Hey, Missy Miss. I'm here with my baby alive, Bouncing Babbles doll. Hang on, let me see if she will do something for you guys. I think you gotta press this hand. She is so cute. Now, I got this one a long, long time ago of either Kijiji or Craigslist, so she is secondhand, and I just put some batteries into her to test her out. So she's fully functioning, but today is going to be her turn to see what's inside of her, because I am really, really interested how all of her mechanisms work. So you can see here on the back, there's some tears in her clothing. I'm going to fix that in the next few days and patch that up. But today, we're going to take a bunch of screws out of her. And we will start with the one in the battery compartment. Now, I just need a regular Phillips screwdriver for that. Now, sometimes you need to take the battery compartment out in order to take a doll apart. And sometimes you don't. I've never taken this doll apart, so we'll find out. Okay, I'm going to take all these batteries out of there. And I don't see any more screws in the battery compartment. So with this one, I would have been able to just leave in. But I'm going to take off her clothes. Now from all the dolls I've taken apart, this one is put together so weirdly. Like part of her arms are actually part of the clothing piece. And then there's a wire hanging out and... Oh, look at that down there. There's some mechanism for her legs. It's almost like bionic-like for both of them. So yeah, that definitely does not look like a regular, normal baby alive leg. These ones are bionic legs, made out of plastic. That is really, really cool. As you guys remember, these ones are hinged because the baby's actually bouncing up and down on her knees. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to take this leg apart in order for me to open up her body. Now I think the knee is going to be really easy and the foot. But I don't know about the hip there, as you guys can see, it's attached pretty tightly, so we'll see. Alright, so this is definitely a big fail. I can't take it apart. The plastic piece is not coming off her hip, and I don't want to break it, so I'm going to just put everything back together again. I'm kind of disappointed because I really, really want to see what's inside of her, but I also don't want to break her. Gotta make sure to put all the batteries back in the right way. Okay, so I screwed everything back in and now I just gotta get this clothing over her foot and over her back. There we go. And let's make sure that she works. <laughs> she sure does babble a whole lot. Well, she seems to be working again. So that was it for today's video. I'm sorry I couldn't take her fully apart. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys later. Bye!